Jesus gave his last words to his followers. Make disciples of all peoples and preach the gospel to all creation. We call it his great commission to us. I'll never forget the impact of a visit I made to our teams in the remote Karamoja region of northern Uganda. It was, for me, a great moment of truth and conviction. When our plane landed on a grassy airstrip, we were greeted by warriors armed with spears. Because of the tribal warfare in the area, all the cattle belonging to the Karamoja had been stolen, and 185,000 people had died of starvation within just a few months. They took us to a field where we saw a pile of skulls, maybe six feet high. I picked up two of the skulls, one in each hand, and I held them. And as I looked at them, I realized that six months earlier, these were people who had been alive. They had been living, breathing human beings who had simply starved to death. I held their skulls, and I wondered if they'd had even one opportunity to hear the message of Christ. I wondered how much people in the region really knew about who Jesus really was. That afternoon, we entered a little village, and I asked my interpreter to help us find out what people really knew about Jesus. We lined up 14 or 15 individuals, and I began to ask them one at a time, tell me, what do you know about Jesus? One by one, they shook their heads and said, I don't know him. Where does he live? Or no, I never heard of him. We came to the last person, a little eight-year-old boy, and I said to the interpreter, just ask him to tell me anything, anything at all that he's ever heard about Jesus. A big tear ran down the little boy's face and the interpreter said, sir, he would like to tell you about Jesus, but he has never before heard the name. It's not fair, I thought, that there should be so many opportunities to receive Christ in our country and this small child doesn't get one chance to hear the message. And I realized that day that I'm only one person but whatever I can do, I want to make sure that there are no little boys or girls or men or women who don't get that one opportunity, that one chance to hear about Jesus and who he is. Everyone, everywhere, needs and deserves to feel his wonderful, tender, loving, merciful, healing, protecting, empowering, and oh, so forgiving touch.